Hello friends, I hope you're well. In this video, we're going to cover Bullex and I'm going to cover the settings I use, the filters I use to help me trade better. So I typically use this on Solana on Pump Fun, but I'm going to show you how to set up for any chain pretty much because there's about six chains on here. Like I use it for Base and Ethereum sometimes, BNB as well. So first thing you want to do is click any token that's not migrating and click this little robot here. Notice in the top, there's a gas setting. So this is my balance, this is my gas setting, and this is my bribe setting. So this is the recommended Solana average gas setting. So if you want your transactions never to fail, you want to go above that. I typically put it around what it is. So this is 0 0.0015. I usually put it 0 0.001 because there's no point in paying any extra. It's about 10 cents, 20 cents. It doesn't really matter too much. If you're finding transactions are failing, put it to that number or put it slightly higher than that number it won't fail there's also a me protection so if you're getting front run if you're doing big transactions on low liquidity tokens i would recommend having this on i typically only really trade on pump fund and some big coins uh, so i don't typically have that problem so i switch it off there's no point paying a bribe fee on that but if you want you can enable it and this is the recommended bribe fee to stop you getting front run by meves I'll do the same with sell transactions as well. I've left it at 0 0.001 and I typically don't have many issues unless it's dumping big time and, and it's a rug and everyone's trying to get out. Then you always have issues with that. So typically you've got the explore setting, which we'll touch on shortly. And we've also got the pump vision one as well. So the link to everything is in the description if you want to sign up or you're already using it. This is free section tiered. And what I typically do is I either trade the new ones I trade the migrating ones here, so I don't typically buy any of these. And I have a look and see what is the meta right now. So what is doing well? These silly little uh, icons, I don't know. I haven't looked today too much. Cats, I guess. And yeah, so anything down here, you know, this is doing okay. I might take a look at that. You know, these things from 22 minutes ago, an hour ago, you can kind of find some reversal plays in these. If you don't want to risk it, I find more luck in the reversal plays. So the newly created ones, I use the filters. What I typically do is put about 3,000 volume. Sometimes you can put a bit more. So if you put $5,000, that typically makes sure that it's not just a token that's launched and someone's bought one Solana, two Solana, three Solana, and it's stuck. I want to filter those out because there's a lot of launches. There's a lot of new launches. I want to filter them out. You can put holder amounts. So this will filter out if there's one massive buy. So let's put 25 or something. And market cap, I want around 8,000. I don't want something that's launched, a few people have bought, and it's stuck at 6K. You want to filter those out. If you can filter that rubbish out, it typically does much better. So for here, I might even put the hold account up. We can take a look at this and see from here. So it'll give you a more a better quality. So this one you can see, look, it's gone up here, it's gone down. Let's put a one second chart and you'll be able to see a bit more. So there's a big sell. There are buyers and transactions coming through. So this one might be a good one to buy, in fact. And now you can put limit orders here, down here. I mean, this seems to be doing okay, I guess. It's quite new, but you might want to put a limit order, let's say down here. Let's put 0 0.2 or something. See if we can trigger it. So if that comes in, if it drops there, then we'll obviously trigger our buy and we'll buy in and hopefully it will go up from there. This one as well, you can see if you're struggling with pump fund tokens and you're like, oh, everything seems no volume. You want these ones that have some sort of volume. This one looks a bit stale, I guess. It looks okay-ish. It's doing all right. And then again, this one, yeah, again, we, we're finding ones with volume. You can't trade without volume on pump fund. If it's like a standard token, let's try and find an example, like a bad example, maybe this one. If it's something like this, ooh, it looks dreadful. I mean, that's a one second chart. <laughs> I mean, that looks terrible, but clearly a rug or some bots or something. Let's see if this triggered. No, we didn't trigger. And this one, and then this one. So these are ones you can kind of watch and see if they grow and stuff like that. But typically, it seems to pick up better quality tokens, and you can search it from there. So use those filters. I don't typically use anything for graduated. I just look at these ones that are migrating. So this one, Santa Pump, looks rubbish. First Lambo, one sold for Lambo, I don't know. Let's have a look at this. What I typically do is I put limit orders in. So typically, tokens dump. I mean, I wouldn't put a limit order on that, but 
let's have a look so you get a little window to put limit orders in let's try on this one and what will happen is you're able to put let's say a 0 0.2 limit order and I want it to it either dumps to like 30k 50k or doesn't dump at all and then you can do it from there so you can just put in I don't know 0 0.2 and we'll put our limit order here so what that's going to do is it'll put a limit order down to about here and when someone dumps it buys in and then it pumps back up hopefully that's what we're anticipating this is what I use typically when I'm actually trading I mean I got an error for that so while it's migrating we can't do that usually we can I think you have to be a bit quicker or we have to wait a bit but you can watch and see if it rugs first and then put a limit order as well so typically bullex is pretty good in terms of oh damn <laughs> we, our, our order didn't get triggered but you can actually see some good uh, tokens on here and again this is migrating if we brought in let's see how the others are doing these ones ain't as good but you can find gems like trust me if you sat there all day without these filters you'd never find a token like this i mean hence i didn't buy in like an idiot but really and truly use bullex to its full potential use the filters take it from there and then we'll see how it goes any questions let me know